you like the most? Uh, Denmark. Hong Kong because it's really an amazing place. I really enjoy it because it's free country, not like China. <laughs> Which country have you been to you like the least? The least? Uh, I would say... Is there any places disappointed you when you go traveling? A lot. <laughs>我估香港人最喜歡的國家就是日本 so, go ahead. Everyone's friendly. The best country, the Netherlands. I think they're uh, like more liberal. Everything like it's it's more okay over there. I think on the first place it will be Hong Kong. I think it's my fifth time already here. I like the mixture of Asian and Western culture very much, which is I think is the best uh, decision for the city, the international city like this. In essence, when he proposed me. Greece. Ah, when I propose, ah, yeah, I propose her in Greece. Yeah. Uh, I love Italy. I love Italian food, cuisine, people. I like their mentality because like they are really open, friendly. I think my favorite country is the UK. I like the culture and the language, and music there, and I like Hong Kong. Everyone speaks English. I came from Thailand before, and it was hard to communicate. But here, everyone speaks English, so it's easier. Australia, because my dad is living over there, and. Uh, I went a couple of times and the, the life is cool, Gold Coast, the surf, yeah, it's pretty good. Actually, it's my favorite country, it's Thailand. What do you like about Thailand? Firstly, uh, it's not a lot of people, yes, <laughs> you know, because in China it's a lot of people. Sea, it's beautiful sea, and of course, people, Thailand people also is very friendly. Denmark. Are you very happy living in Denmark? Yeah, I'm very happy. It's just a nice place to live. I like the climate and I like like the we have insurance and we have healthcare, free healthcare, free education. Japan? Uh, I really like the shopping in Japan. Shopping? <laughs> yeah, shopping here is good. It's very hard to decide. Um, I really love England actually. I like the people there. They're very. I like their humor. Would you have any place you like the least? I think it was Bali in Indonesia because I had too high expectations. I think. And, or maybe we just picked the wrong places in Bali. Kind of disappointed me was uh, New York. And I actually expected more because everyone everyone talks about it. <laughs> but actually, it's like most other Western cities. It's not that special for me. I didn't really like Phnom Penh in Cambodia. It just wasn't that much to see. It was kind of dirty as well. Hong Kong's quite clean. Some of the places in Thailand are not that good as I thought. For example, I went to Phuket. That was not what I expected. But some places in Thailand are quite good as well. Thailand, Phuket, it's too much, uh, too much people. India, too much people and it's too dirty. Beijing. Beijing. <laughs> oh, it's just too busy. Too busy, <laughs> too, too busy. many people. Yeah. You would be standing there, people would be pushing us. I would say Italy. Just the culture and then that it's uh, quite pricey. The cuisine, I thought that you will get the pasta as good as here in, in Hong Kong, in Sweden we got, but no. And then that the portion you got, it's quite little. Like Probably, yeah. Malaysia, I didn't like it. I love Asia, but no. Malaysia was the last. I don't know, man. It wasn't clean. The know, beaches man. was dirty. It's difficult to say because every travel comes with some experience. Country is mostly people you meet there, and in any country there are good people and and not very polite people. So you, you it just I'm very lucky to meet uh, nice people anywhere I go. I think every country has a, uh, her own magic. Even if sometimes if it's a little bit bad, it's a magic, it's an experience. experience you know, it's own culture, language, history, makes every place special. Say it's very good. Actually, every country has its own unique experience. Even if we meet a bad country, it's a magic experience. Bye bye!